Okay, people. This is November 16th, 2020. I am not stressing out with this shit. Okay. I, you need something else to restream. Right. And I'm not, I'm not killing myself over this shit, people. I'm not. Okay, it's obvious YouTube has been oppressing my channel for years and years and years. We just caught them in some real funky shit. All right. I don't think you can restream with uh, StreamYard. I'm I'm trying to get that video and I can't find it and it doesn't even show you here where you can you can see I've downloaded the recording of this particular video see it says test to see right but it doesn't have anything here hold on a minute okay there's nowhere I can bring it into here Okay. I mean, look at this flashing. It's still flashing. There's nowhere I can add that pre-recorded live stream in here. Absolutely nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. I, I think you need a different software. I'm not doing a live. I'm not YouTube's bitch. Okay, people. I'm not. I'm. Not YouTube's bitch. YouTube has been oppressing me for a long time, right along with my provincial government. Okay. YouTube promotes a lot of artificial intelligence, <clears throat> weird shit. Remember that shit with Ice Cube that I showed you? All okay. right, all right. They're taking out a video with young people dancing, having a really, really good time, so they can promote their children in lewd poses. All right, uh, YouTube's messed up. Completely messed up. So I don't know. See, it's right there. See, it didn't get uploaded. But you can't do anything with it. Enter broadcast studio. See, it doesn't give you a means to uh, upload it. I already did that. Right? It, you can only go back to the dashboard. You can't go live with this. Add a destination to post comments. What is that supposed to mean? nothing the video itself is only eight minutes right you can't even bring it to the beginning
and I can't find it in here. Live streaming YouTube. <coughs> Now, see? Now you can't even play it. So I'm not going to waste my time with this, people. I'm not. I, I think you have to get a different program. Okay? I stand by what I say. All right? Yeah. So you can see, it's right here, but it hasn't been uploaded, and I can't restream it because I don't think you can restream from this. Okay, so I am going to upload this. I'm going to add in the first clip, this one right here, just the one. I'm not going to add in any of this because YouTube is obviously censoring my channel. They're trying to suppress information, right? They're trying to delete channels that give out information that doesn't suit their political agendas, right? I'm kind of disgusted with the whole thing in light of what YouTube promotes when it comes to pedophilia. And how they do it, people. Okay? How they shadow ban le legitimate YouTubers with federal trademarks trying to do the right thing. So that, you know, they wipe out the young people dancing and having a really good time. Because the word dance, kids, dance interrupts their flow of um, what they want to promote when they're promoting children dancing with their thumbnails as a uh, something to get people to click to watch those videos when you can't even find mine because they took um, they they did something to that video people with the kids dancing up here in Surrey BC right I mean it's still on the browser it's still on YouTube it still comes up but yet it's been shadow banned Okay, and now they're striking me, right, to to shut me up about what the governments are doing. That's what they're doing. It's bad enough that they're burying my videos and blocking my videos and that kind of shit, right? And shadow banning my channel altogether and freezing my subscriber lists and, you know, and just the whole nine yards, right? They've been doing it for years, people. This is like the provincial government out here oppressing the non-profit. All right, working under the BC Liberal government for 16 years was no piece of cake. They weren't interested in community wellness. I'm telling you, and the BC, uh, the, 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 you know, the government of British Columbia, Canada, currently right now in 2020, 2020, 2020, it's no different because the political agenda is to to push those tundra vaccines, <laughs> right, and to turn everybody into freaking zombies and and be poor and just be receptacles for organ harvesting like seriously this is and youtube youtube doesn't want that information to get out there right they'd rather have ice cube up there with his morbid pictures in the back right with lewd lewd suggestions with again children that's what they promote people just like all right, so I'm not, I can't, I can't, I can't participate on a website that promotes fucking that kind of shit. I can't just ignore it. Right? As they're trying to act like they don't. <laughs> and penalize everybody else for doing something that we're not even doing wrong so that they can continue doing what they've been doing wrong. It's plain as day. I just have to find a way to write it down and send it to the fucking CEO of Google and call him on it. 
you know, I'm not, I, I'm going to add this one little first part, and what, YouTube going to come in, same, same fucking mole rates, YouTube staff going to come in and give me a strike, make it so I can't do a live stream for a week, as if, as if I even do that many live streams, it's too much of a headache. And I'm not even going to attempt to try and restream and get new program and figure this out. I'm, all that energy that it would take for me to figure that shit out, I'm just going to apply it to writing the CEO. I'm serious. I'm serious. And I'm going to see if I can find a lawyer in California that will just at least look at this situation. Uh-huh. You know, give me some sound advice. I'll pay for the sound advice. I'll pay for it, people. Right? If I'm wrong, fine. I will admit that I'm wrong. Right? In terms of what YouTube's been doing to my channel since the beginning of time. <clears throat> In partnership with my government. Because this is a PSYOP. I told you, YouTube is a PSYOP. It's working with the police. It's working with the government. It doesn't work with the freaking... With, 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 with us, the people. It, they don't. Right? $5 billion uh, company, $15 billion company. I think they're up to like $15 billion a year they pull in in revenues. I wonder why. I wonder why. All you have to do is look at my channel to figure out why. Right? Go into the history of the nonprofit, assuming that YouTube will even allow you to do that. Right? Because they don't care about nonprofit. Right? They don't. That's not their business. Their business is to make profit by any means necessary. They don't care who they stomp on while they do it. They don't care who they exploit. What? Am I going to get flagged for that? For telling the truth? Because I walk the talk with YouTube? I know because YouTube's been doing it to my channel for 11 fucking years and I caught them again. <coughs> <coughs> As they put out false information time after time after time after time with freaking lewd suggestions when it relates to children. And I'm supposed to stay quiet on that to protect YouTube's integrity as if they have any. Oh yeah, okay. No, I'm going to take my energy. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. I should be typing. But I've been sleeping for like two freaking days. I'm so depressed with all this. I'm tired. I'm trying to muster up some energy to go outside. I don't know. I'm going to try and do that today. No point in bringing out the camera, though. Do a monthly, once a month update. Come on to YouTube only if it's like in an emergency. Right? What I'd have to say, it's all there. All right? We know that the provincial government out here is going to keep doing what it's been doing because it's been doing it, people. I've documented it enough times that I don't have to continue documenting it to prove my point. <clears throat> Especially now with YouTube on my ass giving me strikes for documenting truth. <clears throat> because they're trying to hide it. As they promote kitty you know what on the side <clears throat> and shadow ban my va my videos trying to encourage young people to stand up and do the right thing as if my voice and their voices don't count <clears throat> right so i i can't i can't let that distract me away from from other things that are more important in terms of uh Maybe getting some justice for the youth that are being silenced. How about that? Okay. Okay. Here we go. It is... You see that? November 12th, 2020. Look where that came in, people. November 5th. November 7th. Nobody can say... That that's not a fake pre-recorded live stream. Okay. 
as always, when we think about remembrance and we think about the challenges in mourning people who've died from COVID-19 in these times and how challenging it is, okay. and our condolences go to the families who have lost their loved ones, to the care providers who have looked after them, and to you. our communities who mourn their loss. How many cards? One. We have uh, 11,091 people who are on active public right. health monitoring right now, One, and 14,089 people who have recovered from COVID-19. In the past four, two days, we've had six new five, health care facility six, outbreaks at the Nanaimo seven. Regional General Hospital here on Vancouver Island, uh, Chartwell Langley Gardens, Peaceport uh, Seniors Village, now, the Harrison at Elon over, Village. And this is the second, unfortunately, outbreak here. at that facility, the Daniel right Home now. and Finnish Manor. And three outbreaks have been declared over at Caroline Fleetwood, Let's Hamilton see. Village Centre, and Mayfair Terrace Retirement Residence. So that right. leaves 41 active outbreaks in our right. health care system, 35 in long-term right. care and assisted living, and 6 in acute care, affecting 1,331 right. people, 764 residents, and 561 right. staff. Right. So with that right. update, um, right. I'd like to start uh, provide you with the information that we give on a That's periodic basis in. about the outbreak, our pandemic here in BC, who's being affected, and where, and some um, insight into where we're seeing cases being transmitted, and some of the data that we're using in public health to understand where we're going with this pandemic and now in our it's province. Pop up in the front. To start with, the geographic distribution of uh, COVID-19 cases by health service right. del uh, delivery area of the oh, case of it. residents. The residents that? of the case, so as you know, by convention, uh, we uh, classify people by where they live. Right. That may not be where they were exposed to COVID-19, um, where people may be exposed at right. work or in social environments that are right. different from where they live. Right. However, this is uh, how we do it in Canada and here in British Columbia as well. So this on the left-hand side, it. the cumulative total are cases from January 1st until November 5th. This is how and then, we do uh, the it. the blue graph on the right-hand side reflects um, the last two weeks between October 23rd to November 5th. And as you can see, um, the, the pandemic 